what happens when a much admired ukulele performer, a much admired ukulele store and a decent ukulele brand get together for a collaboration? Keep watching and find out. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Summary video review to accompany the written review linked below where you'll get more detail, uh, pictures, the scores, that kind of thing. A lot more down there. Um, as ever, thank yous running across the bottom of the screen to people who very kindly donate to help keep this site going because got a ukulele doesn't ever take payment from brands or stores uh, to do these reviews. Some reviewers do, I don't. They can't be impartial if you do that, so these people really help keep it going. Thank you very much. And why not help me get that subscribe account up on YouTube, hit the little subscribe down there on the video, and the bell symbol will let you know when new stuff goes up on God at Ukulele's channel. That would help me out, thank you. Anyway, moving on, this is a collaboration ukulele. Difficult one for me to review because Phil Dolman, for It Is He, uh, somebody is a friend and I've known him for many years and uh, I, I like his taste in ukuleles I like his taste in music and he's helped specify this one this is his signature model World of Ukes is a store that have loaned me this one I really like that store as well and I've looked at Miller before as well a few few months ago and it was a wonderful instrument so everything's sort of coming together to go this is a bit of a no-brainer Barry's gonna like this and uh, I do like it uh, but let's get into it I'll try and be as, as objective as I can about this one this is the Phil Dolman signature soprano from Miller or more accurately the PD 210 MN Phil Dolman signature soprano now this is right up my street uh, regular people who've been following this channel for a while will know that I like simple mahogany sopranos with minimal decoration uh, that just do their thing and this is one of those this is just a lovely instrument it's made of all solid mahogany two pieces on the top very slightly curved back and sides um, mahogany never the most interesting wood unless you're looking at fiddleback mahogany but this is this is nice and stripy I really like this it's finished in an open pour satin but not massively open pour to be fair reminds me very much of the Kawea Japanese sopranos which are superb instruments and a lot more money than this one um, in the finish uh, in fact not just in the finish in lots of the departments too it's a very very nicely finished instrument very very smooth chamfered off edges around here and on the back so they're cur carved back a little bit so there's no sharp edge for the fretting arm that's a high-end appointment really nice the bridge <laughs> couldn't be much smaller wonderful little rosewood uh, slot style bridge fitted with a compensate uh, sorry a straight topped bone saddle uh, no real estate being taken up on the top on the vibrating top really simple just what you want inside really tidy notched uh, kerfing uh, tapered braces no mess at all you also get Phil Dolman's signature there on the label which I can just about show you that's nice because some signature instruments decide to put put the signature up here it's all really ostentatious this is much more subtle not in your face that's kind of guy Phil is I guess all right let's move on the neck isn't specified but I'm fairly sure it's mahogany um, it's made of three pieces now when you get onto the price on this one you'll realize why it's made of three pieces because it's been done to get the value uh, in there uh, I, there's no reason why a jointed neck is a problem for a ukulele I only mention it where the joints are obvious and I have to say the joint here is pretty obvious and I'd rather it wasn't so obvious uh, but in terms of playability it means absolutely nothing of course uh, what I really like about this neck is a really really shallow back profile so it's just up my street and 35 mil 28 g to a um wider than most of the chinese sopranos not the widest soprano i've played but comfortable for me fitted on top with a rosewood fingerboard which is in really good condition as you can see you can see it's oily it's nice and well conditioned bit of um, end shaping down there even in color this is rolled on the edges that's another high-end appointment no sharp ends at all sides at all they, they, they basically carve off the edges of the fingerboard that's lovely 16 frets 12 to the body no sharp edges at all they're dressed impeccably well really really simple soprano style position dots at 5 7 and 10 you don't need one at the 12 because that is the body and you also get side dots at 5 7 and 10 as well that's nice 
uh, nut is made of bone, up to the headstock, uh, curvy swoopy top. The Miller logo there is a kind of a sticker, um, but unlike the stickers on those Martin instruments that people reported were coming off with the use of a clip-on tuner, um, this is under the satin, so I don't think there's a problem. I think it looks quite classy, actually. The tuners. Whoa, lovely, lovely, lovely. These are planetary tuners, so the benefits of gears, they have gears inside, but look like friction pegs and don't give the ukulele sticky out ears. Uh, these are made by De Young, uh, pretty much exactly the same as Goto UPTs, aluminium body, black buttons, really light, um, pretty small. I have these on my KM Ukuleles concert and I can report they are wonderful, they work really, really well. Okay, you get nothing else with it, you get uh, Worth Brown strings it comes with, but I'd never really comment on strings, people will put what they like on it. Uh, I'd probably have uh, my usual fishing line on this. Um, and uh, the price, uh, £329. That's not a bad price at all. This is a really um, well-appointed instrument, and I made that comparison to Quaya early on, the KTS-4 and the KTS-5 in particular. It's very comparable to those, and they're about twice the price. Uh, okay, it's made in China, Taiwan, not in uh, not in Japan, but still twice the price, and it's right up there with those in terms of the build. Certainly, it's dead light, 355 grams. It's perfectly well balanced. I've not found anything wrong with it. Yeah, I'd like a single piece neck, but why? Just that's just aesthetics. Everything else about it, I like. I love these edges here. I love the edges of the fingerboard. I love the neck width. I love these tuners. I love the finish and the look of the wood and how simple it is. Um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, Phil knows his stuff. Phil's a kind of a demanding guy, but he likes uh, the traditional and um, let's have a play, eh? These strings are still stretching. It's not been with me that long, this instrument, so bear with me on this. say with sopranos really important to have punch it's only a little body oh wow 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 it's it's like a rocket yeah 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 sustain really really pretty good too you know sopranos don't tend to have masses of sustain it's warmer than i expected it to sound the strings are probably having something to do with that but mahogany i suppose is warmer and woodier but it's not That's how a soprano should sound. Kawaya, the Kawaias. Uh, the Kawaya is a remarkable sounding instrument. A little more nuanced than this is, but do you know what? It's really close.
Hey. <laughs> Uh, this is cracking instrument, absolutely wonderful instrument. How would it not be? Phil's not going to put his name to something that's rotten. Well, the Utes aren't going to put the name to something that's rotten. And Miller have impressed me already. They've impressed me again. Uh, if I have a list of things I like about Sopranos, a tick box list, they're all ticked. They're all ticked. I love the look of the body. I love the wood choice. I love the small bridge. I love the finishing. I love the rosewood fingerboard. I love the rolled edges, no sharp fret ends. I love the tuners. I love the look. I love the sound. Uh, warm sound to it. Um, warmer than I'd expect. Sometimes like ukuleles to be a bit peppier, a bit more jangly. Putting Martin fluorocarbon strings on it will do that. Um, these are worth browns. They're kind of darker. A bit like dark strings that Kawaii put on as well. But you could experiment with that. Um, the volume is superb, the sustain's decent, it's jangly, it's peppy. I'm going on, I'm going on, I'm going on. This is what I do when a ukulele comes along that I really like. The Miller PD-210MN, let's just call it the Phil Dolman Signature Miller. Uh, soprano in solid mahogany. Um, what a really good instrument. Um, I really enjoyed looking at this one. Thank you to World of Ukes for the loan. Um, okay, right, back next week. Next week, coming your way, something that a lot of people have been really begging for, and the brand has put it out, and I've got one of the first ones, I think, I think in the world. Um, there's not many about, and they're not available yet, but I'll, anyway, I'm going on again, aren't I? See you next week. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.